something happened to me and I started believing in myself and I said, even though I didn't win, I feel like I can do anything I put my mind to and I feel like I can come back the next year and maybe become Mrs. Compton. And um, through competing at Mrs. Kenosha, I quickly had people come into my life who had already gone through the system. We had a family friend who was a former Mrs. Compton and she reached out to me and she said, Laura, I'd like to help you. I'd like to teach you about this because I think you can do well and I think you might go far in this. You could really become Mrs. Compton. And she said, it's not a beauty pageant. There's so much more that comes with it. She said, you can earn scholarship money by being Mrs. Compton. The whole Miss America competition is a scholarship organization. So you can pay back your student loans. You could pay for your tuition. Um, she said you can sing and be involved in your, in your um, be, perform on stage. And she said you also have a chance to be involved in your community because the whole Miss America program is based on community service. So I said this is not that bad of a deal. It sounds like it's a good idea. She became a mentor to me. She helped me through that process. Other people came into my life. Some that are still in my life today quickly surrounded me and quickly became a part of me. And they started believing in me. And they started believing in my will to do well at Mrs. Wisconsin. So fast forward that year, um, I had to go to another city because the whole system is a city, state, and a national level. So I had to go to another city. I won a city. And then that year I won Mrs. Thompson. And I always said, you know what? If I win Mrs. Thompson, I'm never going to do it for myself. I know I can be, be involved in my community. And I know I can make a difference in my local area. But if I become Mrs. Thompson, I vowed to myself that I was going to use that spotlight as a way to help others and as a way to help children that I once was and to help a group of children that I had walked in those shoes of. So I vowed that I was going to be an advocate for children of incarcerated parents. That year I won Mrs. Compton, and I went on then to prepare for Miss America. And I had this team of people, as I said, were coming into my life to quickly surround me and become mentors, and one of which today, uh, Fran Bruce, is, is one of those women who was on my prep team. And she said, I believe in you and I think you can become Miss America. And it was 10 people's same opinions that started to change my opinion of myself. And self-esteem started blossoming in me and self-confidence started blossoming in me.